Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Miles Johns versus Douglas Silva DeAndraj. Miles Johns 14-2, 3-1-0-1, no contest against Dan Argeletta. I believe he was finished in that one anyways. I can't... It doesn't... Let me... Hold on. I thought... It was unanimous. I think Dan Argeletta beat him. I can't remember. Two no contests in a row, though. Yikes. Either way, 14-2, um, and two, six finishes. Has been finished two times. Both of his losses are finishes. Minus 105 to minus 115. Basically, a pick 30 years old, 5'7", with a 66-inch reach. Douglas De Silva, 29 wins, 5 losses, 3-2 in his last 5 fights. 3-1 uh, in, in his last 4. Lost to Syed Nurmagomedov a, a little over a year ago. And then before that, lost to Lerone Murphy by decision. Beat uh, Pirello, Deontay Pirello, counter left hook. Beat Sergei Mor Morozov. If you haven't seen that fight, go back and watch it. It's an awesome fight. And then defeated Cody Stamen, which I think people thought Cody Stamen won that matchup. Uh, 38 years old. Did miss weight in his last one. 5'7", the 68 and a half inch reach. Same height with a 2 and a half inch reach. That will be something new for Douglas Silva and Yandraj. The one biggest thing for me is Miles Johns is going to try to wrestle. Andrade is a very, very good grappler. Now, how good is he off of his back? That's that could be a question. I do think Miles Johns has good uh, uh, takedowns. You know, he, he is good definitely with that. 38 years old for Douglas De Silva De Andrade. 22 wins, 20 of them by knockout. He's only been finished two times in his career, and both of them were in the UFC. Petter Jan got a corner stoppage and Rob Fon got a guillotine choke on him. Huge, huge victory for him there. Uh, he actually at one point was 23 and 1 or 24 and 1. That's craziness. Holy crap. Again, I like DeAndre in this one. I, 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 I do think he does good things, but I'm a little cautious of picking Andrade just because Miles Johns is going to be the faster fighter. He's going to have really good takedowns. And because Douglas has so much power, he is so physically strong, I feel like the cardio is not necessarily going to last. Now, if they brawl it out, it might be in favor of Andrade. But if Miles Johns can survive those barrages, his cardio is only going to get worse and worse and worse. And Miles Johns is going to get better and better and better. For the defense, for the youth, all these things, I like Miles Johns. I'm going with Miles Johns. Let me know who you guys are picking. Subscribe, like, and comment.